like to grow your own food? Or do you like the idea of being able to grow your own food, but maybe you thought you didn't have room? Well, this whole kit, brought to us by Roberta's, is specifically bred for smaller spaces. If all you have is a little sunlit patio or deck, you're good to go. And you are going to be able to grow your own eggplant. Look at that eggplant right there. But they're more like personally sized, so you don't need to peel them or seed them or salt them or do any of that. Cucumbers, you're getting two of those. Um, and they can, they can grow pretty large, even though the plant is not gonna be so huge. And then, oh, that salad looks so good right there. And then also, the little uh, tomatoes are bred specifically to be sweeter. So you're gonna get two each of the tomatoes, the cucumbers, and the eggplant at a savings of over $3 today. They're gonna ship to you for free when it's time to plant in your area. And they're $10.65 on Easy Pay. M82109, we've even got a great warranty for you. So if you're going, I've never grown my own food before, what if I'm not successful? We're gonna help you out with that, for, with this awesome family. This is my pick of the show. The Walleen family brings us Roberta's. And every year, uh, you put together these patio sets for us because it's something that we all wanna do now. I mean, so many people are growing their own vegetables. Number one, because it's very satisfying. They taste better. But also because of food prices right now and food availability. And so you don't have to have a huge space to be able to grow your own food. So. Um, it's so good to see you. We love the Walleen family and everything you bring to us. Hey, Terry, what's going on? I'm good. How are you, Steffi? I'm good. I'm happy to be here with you. And yeah, you did a wonderful introduction. You almost don't even need me. Um, this patio veggie collection is just what you said. Now anyone in the country can have the joy of growing and eating their own homegrown veggies. Traditionally, you know, if you wanted to grow any three of these, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, or eggplant, you would need a large parcel of land. You'd have to go out with a tiller and then you'd have to amend the soil and you'd be out there doing a lot of work day in and day out. And that's what this collection is, you know, trying to solve for us. This is kind of a, a problem solver and still allowing you to enjoy juicy, delicious, fresh veggies because now all you need are a couple of containers. So if you don't even have a house and you just have an apartment with a sunny deck or patio, you can have you can bring fresh vegetables right into your home and you can have the joy of growing them yourself. So how will they be shipped to us and how should Great. we plant them? I mean, we, we should probably do Great two question. each in a, in a container that big? Yeah, that's a great question. So here, I'll just pop one of these out. This is one of the two tomatoes. So it's a six piece collection. You're getting two cherry tomatoes, two of the baby eggplant and two of these cucumbers. And you know, if you want to, I would recommend placing no more than two plants per container you want to double them up use a container that's about 24 inches large um but you know i think they grow best planted individually and at that point you only need a container that's about 12 inches across okay. and then all you need to do is find a sunny place on your deck on your patio even if you have a bunch of land you know save your garden space now for other things and you will be enjoying these really fresh juicy sweet cherry tomatoes cucumbers and these eggplants you know right up what i have here this is like a traditional italian eggplant and I don't know if you've ever tried to eat one of these on your own or maybe with your partner. You end up wasting about half of it because mm -hmm. they're just too big and they require salting and you can't eat the skin. But now with these cute little baby eggplants, I'm just going to cut this one in half to show you. You can kind of tell that the skin is very thin. So you can eat this entire thing. You can put it right on the grill, roast it with a little bit of cheese. I'd love to go through the lifestyle images so that you can kind of start to envision how to enjoy all of these very fresh fruits and veggies. And honestly, like you were saying, Terry, there's nothing better than growing your own. And right now with the prices of food, imagine going and buying as much as you see here, organic vegetables from the grocery store. I mean, it would be an exorbitant amount of money, but now you can grow it yourself. One of your cherry tomato plants is going to give you up to a hundred fruit and you're getting two of them. So you can imagine the possibilities are truly endless pastas. You can eat them fresh. I have here with me a little bit of salad. Um, but that plant on the left, you know, behind my little square there, you can, you can see how many of these gorgeous yellow cherry tomatoes there are. And these are actually bred to have an extra high sugar content, which mainly just means that they're bred to be extra sweet. So you can just pop them right into your mouth. And then here you see the eggplants on the right. And on the left, it's the eggplants mixed in with the marigolds, which I actually have here with me, which I'll be 
presenting in the 12 o'clock show, but they're just a perfect companion plant. And these eggplants, like I said, they're like gourmet grillers. You don't have to go out and you know salt and cut up the skin and peel them and stuff. You can eat the skin directly, throw a little bit of Parmesan cheese, pop them in the oven, make eggplant Parmesans, and they're truly delicious. I mean, for me, I love to have a grill, you know, barbecue. That's the best thing about summertime. With your burgers, you can throw a couple of these eggplants right next to them on the grill, mm. and they are going to just get so soft and delicious. And then last but not least are these cucumbers. So as you see there, you know, you can pick them when they're small, and you can have them for pickles, but they will still grow extra large, about eight inches across, which is wow. really cool because traditional cucumber plants, Terry, they can grow like six feet long. And I'm not sure if you know how cucumbers grow, but they kind of sprawl. But these are compact plants, so they're only going to go about three feet in diameter. But even though it's a compact plant, you're still going to be getting those really large, delic delicious, juicy cucumbers. And I mean, I don't know about you, but just to eat a a slice of cucumber. It's so refreshing. It's so refreshing. You, you have me juice. so hungry right now. <laughs> my mm -hmm. producer just said, this is making me yes. so hungry. I said, me too. My mouth Good. is literally watering. And usually we have all of these beautiful examples in front of us. Yes. And I just eat I the whole time. Anytime I present them with you, I'm usually just eating it the whole time because they're I so delicious. It. But when you said, look at that harvest right in front of you. If you yes, bought that right at a regular grocery store, particularly if it's organic or at a mm -hmm. farmer's market, you would have just spent what you spent to have your own and have multiple harvests Absolutely. and be able to, and they just taste better when they're they fresh. If you have children in your life, grandchildren, nieces and nephews, your children, I know that we've been growing with our own children. Uh, last mm -hmm. year we did one of these and it was a little bit different. It was eggplant, oh, I think it was peppers, peppers, with eggplant, peppers. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the um, tomatoes, of course. Yep. My kids wanted to eat what they grew, That's it's it, there's a pride in it and the taste. The taste yes. is unlike anything else. I cannot have a tomato from a grocery store anymore. I mean, I still do if I have to, but I know it. they once I've tasted my own, the, it's nowhere near. It's like they're two I separate things. And the kids definitely, do, they don't really taste like anything. When I hear about these being extra sweet, mm -hmm. I just imagine us walking by and pulling a couple off of the plant. They're a little it's bit like warm. Candy. Yeah, it's so, it's just such a beautiful experience. And so that's what I would normally talk about. But then mm -hmm. when you add on to that, what's happening with not only the price of food, but the availability. Yeah. That's Absolutely. a little frightening. I want to be able to be self-sufficient. Totally. I want to be able to provide for my family right in our backyard. Absolutely, Terry. I couldn't agree more. And now you don't need a big yard. You don't need to go out and rent, you know, space at a community garden. All you need is a couple of containers. So those of us, you know, here we have a town a townhome in Pennsylvania, so we don't have the space to grow them outside. And it doesn't matter. Now we can all enjoy you know, growing our own, eating our own, knowing exactly what you're putting on your your plants, no chemicals. If you want to grow, it's, it's more than organic almost because you know exactly what's going into them. And I would highly recommend picking up a bag or two of our Roberta's tomato fertilizer. This is perfect for your tomatoes, your cucumbers, eggplant, anything edible that you're going to be growing this summer, Terry. Absolutely use this. It's just going to ensure that your fruits and veggies are going to get all the nutrients that they need to to allow them to grow and be mm -hmm. the extra sweet cherry tomatoes that we want. These gorgeous, almost jewel-like um, eggplants They're and then beautiful. those really juicy, fresh cucumbers. When will we, after we plant them, when can we expect mm -hmm. a harvest? Fantastic question. So because these are going to be more compact plants, you're going to be harvesting all of them in about 40 to 45 days after the time of planting. So you're going to start getting fruits and veggies in about June, whereas most people, if you're going to grow, you know, the larger plants out in the yard, Sometimes it takes up to 80 days to get fruits. So wow. You'll be eating so much sooner than your neighbors and you'll be harvesting all the way through September. So you can imagine just with your kids, for example, all summer long, just going off, you know, picking up a couple of the tomatoes, biting into these cucumbers. It's truly a special thing to grow your own. And like you said, to, to be able to ensure that you're gonna have fresh fruits and veggies because who really knows what's gonna happen over the next coming months. Well, you're going to be on with Dan pretty soon at the, in the noon mm -hmm. show. We've got a lot coming from yes. Roberta's, but um, definitely pick up something like this, especially if you've never done it before. We're going to set Absolutely. you up for success, and we do have that, uh, that guarantee. So thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you, Terry. Good to see you. $10.65. I'm totally getting at least one set of these, if, if not two. Because um, the other thing is,